welcome to the Yacht Club and welcome back to Ears First. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, you may recognize this little background if you've seen our recent video for, um, at the end of Boma. We were kind of sitting right here and shut the camera off and turn it back on so we could do this portion of Monster Paul. You can kind of see there's garland up behind me. Yep. So this was being filmed on Christmas Day. Yeah, lots of garland. Yeah. The, tr the tree is actually right in front of us yeah, right there. Yeah, it's a really pretty tree. Yeah, so. It's a train set. If yeah. I have seen that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, but, we digress. Anyways, we're heading over to Epcot tonight for dinner at Monster Paul. It's been two years. Two years since we've been there. Almost yeah. exactly two years since we've been there and it is amazing. At least it was then, so we're hoping it is now. I can't imagine that it won't be. Yeah. Um, we're kind of kicking off right here from uh, the Yacht Club because, you know, we catch the ferry ride over to the back entrance of Epcot, and you practically get dropped off in France. Pretty much. The International and, Gateway is right there between England yeah. and France. So we're going to do that, and we're going to drag you guys along with us so we can show you how good it actually is. And how pretty so, it is. Yes. Um... So join us while we dine at Monsieur Paul. And we're here. This is the menu. We have the choices of, we got a prefix menu, um, which is Disney Dining Plan plus $29. Have the options of these appetizers if we didn't want to do the prefix. Here's the main menu. And then we have a seven course tasting prefix menu. Which is regular dining plan, two entitlements, plus 59, or if you're deluxe, plus 29. So you get the choice of desserts. If you're on the dining plan, uh, I'm sure they can tell you the prices if you're not, but we're using deluxe dining plan, so we're not sure what we're doing yet. Okay, so we made our order. Um, it's going to be interesting because I've got the seared tuna, Pamela's got sea bass. sea bass, and we got some interesting appetizers coming out. She's got the oxtail soup, I got the trout, and we got our bread. And they only bring the bread out, like, they bring you a basket and you get to choose what you want. And they'll let you choose more than one, but that's how they do it. And with the wine, since we get a drink with it, um, I'm going with what our server recommends. So, <laughs> we'll see how this works out. Alright, so I changed the shutter speed so it's a little brighter. Uh, I got my trout with the comfy, the lemon cream. That's Pamela's. That's, he said that's this their signature dish. This is pastry on top. Uh, that's their signature appetizer, so that yeah, looks interesting. It does. I'm excited. <laughs> and here's mine. Now she got that gigantic thing. Yeah, I got, I got that. But it looks really good. Seared tuna. Very nice. And there's Pamela's. So it's sea bass with the potato scales, and then I think it's a butternut squash. Very nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Time for a dessert. And don't worry, we'll show you around the restaurant here shortly. If you watch our old video from here, you will see this one here, the chocolate sphere. And hopefully this time, I'm going to order it. We're going to see if we can get it on video of them melting the chocolate sphere. See if they can get that to work. Whoops. There you go. I'll let you give that a read. Alright, this is just a commercial. And that's about it. This place is really kind of tiny. <laughs> so we got a neat view outside. You can kind of see what's going on. So, um, yeah, the place is tiny. There's not much to it. I mean, that, that was the Grand Tour, so. Yeah, it, it is upstairs above Chefs of France. Yeah. You have to come in from the back. Yeah, and up some stairs and a small elevator if you're handicapped, so. Um, 
just waiting on dessert. <laughs> <laughs> but with chocolate. Enjoy the dessert. Thank you. Okay. Jake has a spear. I don't know what to do now. You eat it. Oh. Oh, with a spoon. With a spoon. And then I have a hazelnut cake, and it's got raspberries inside and then I have a lot of crumbs on it. Oh, it collapsed. And it's happy anniversary. Here, that's, here's the inside. Yeah, here you go. I'll take this back. I had to stop this. Alright, so there's the inside of it. Got a little darker. Coming back up with the light. There we go. Pretty cool. All right, so here you have the rear view of us at home because we forgot to do an outro for <laughs> Monsieur Paul. We or did. How, do you, how do you pronounce it? Monsieur Paul. Monsieur. Monsieur Paul. Monsieur, Monsieur, however you want to pronounce Monsieur. it. It's um, located there in the France Pavilion of Epcot. And as we were saying, it's above Chefs de France. There's a relatively nice staircase that leads up to it and everything. And... Um, if you are in a wheelchair or have a difficult time with stairs, such as me, but I braved the stairs, hurt a little bit. You did well. I was winded by the time I got to the top. <laughs> um, the elevator is tiny. I've had to take it before when I was still in the wheelchair. Um, I don't know if you can get a scooter in there. I doubt it because sitting in my wheelchair, I ha actually had to stand up on one leg uh, because there wasn't enough room for my knees. Now, granted, I'm six foot three, and my legs stick out much further than other people, and so do my feet. Um, but the elevator's tiny, and it's an antique. It, it really is. It's a, it's a lift. It's not an elevator. It's an old lift. It has like a lever action call button, and it's kind of worn out. So, and they, it was like this last time we were there, so two years ago. Two two years ago, it was doing this, and it's they, they still, still do it. They use a crayon to brace it into the correct position yeah. when they need to call it. It's and and, and some of the servers and a hostess, hostess hostesses. Sure. I don't, I don't, I don't, hostesses? just a hostess. We'll just say the host. Um, right. Uh, some of them don't always know how to use it. I remember our waitress had to explain to them how to call the elevator back down or call it back up, whatever, just so they can get me onto it at that time. And that's why I chose to use the stairs this time <laughs> but um yeah just keep that in mind if you're going there it's worth it just be prepared to use that elevator if you have difficulty with that but the food what do you think so good and it's art on a plate they yeah. do a really good job with the presentation and i think that makes a big difference um i mean it's really fancy french cuisine apparently haute cuisine is not a thing in france they don't use that term they only use that for fashion. I found that out when I was there. Huh. So that's an American thing, I guess. We've kind of turned it into a, a, a phrase. But no. um, Pamela was just in Europe for a month for work and spent a week in, Fr in France <clears throat> and an extra couple of days at the end of it yeah. right there in Paris. So she got to try um, actual cuisine, yeah. French cuisine. So got to track out some Parisian cafes. What, what did you think... C comparing it's not your typical french cuisine i mean it's really is something special it's not a traditional french meal um and it's definitely been adjusted for an american palate um the flavors aren't going to be as bold as you probably would find in a lot of places in france and uh one thing that i was kind of upset about was when i was in paris i had a chance to try escargot and i was like oh this is great i'm adventurous you know here i am pulling snails out of a shell they have escargot at Chef, or not Chefs of France, but they have at uh, uh, Le Monstre Paul's. But it's in a pastry. It's not yeah. in a shell. So it, it's not the <laughs> same experience that you get in a, in a cafe. I, I, I forget what our server said about it. It's, it's like, eh, Disney. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of funny. Mine, 
mine was really good. The tuna was excellent. The sea bass was really good too. Yeah. Yours looked awesome. The potato scales that they do on it. Yeah. I mean, it's just a really neat touch, and it's great because you don't get too much potato. Because that was another thing. I was in England for three weeks as part of that trip, and there was potatoes with everything. Sometimes yeah. more than one type of potato on the same plate. So. Ooh, but we skipped over the appetizers because we didn't really discuss it a whole lot um, previously in the video. So what did oh, you yeah. think of your oxtail soup? The oxtail soup was really good. It's... um. It's a lot more hearty than you'd expect for a it's, soup. It's more like a stew. Yeah, that's not something you want to get in the middle of July. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you'd, you'd enjoy it too much. Um, the pastry was nice, really flaky. I just, I don't know if it was the right way to eat it, but I just pushed mine down into the soup and uh, then ate it as part of the soup, and it was great that way, and it gave the soup a little bit more uh, body, I guess. I if, you're, if you're wondering what's up just above Pamela's head there, that's it's Goofy's, it's foot. Goofy's foot, yeah. <laughs> um... What I, I had the trout. Um, it was a cold dish with, uh, I forget the what was underneath it. It was another slice of fish, but it was actually really good. I was surprised. Um, I was thinking something that was going to be more along the line of one of those charcuterie boards, but it, yeah. it wasn't. It was a lot fresher, and that, w that was nice. It was refreshing. Did it come with like a creme fraiche or <clears throat> yeah. some kind of dairy something? But then dessert. Dessert was amazing. As you saw, the chocolate sphere, they pour the chocolate on top, it melts. I remember Pamela's actually fell open yeah. when we were there two years ago. I guess the chocolate wasn't quite hot enough for that, or maybe the sphere was a little too cold. But, I mean, it opened up, and as soon as I tapped it with a spoon, it fell open. But with hers, it just fell open it right there on the like plate. A, yeah. Think of it like the... um. The globe in Illuminations, when it opens up and the fire's coming out. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a cognac chocolate sauce that they put on it, too. Yeah. So it's got a little alcohol in it. Yeah, I mean, sure nothing is going to, you know, yeah. yeah. But it has that flavor, I'm sure. But yeah, that was really good. So, um... We have an old video for it, and if you find that, maybe I'll, if I can, I'm gonna I'll try to link it at the end of the video here. That was um, old. That was one of our one of our first. Videos, that right? was, and that was right after my injury. So, um, I mean, it is wheelchair accessible. They got that elevator, and I got my wheelchair up there. So, mm -hmm. um, but Master Paul, give it a try. If you, especially if you're on a dining plan, um, it's it's a signature restaurant, so it's two table services per person. Um, it's great for date night, um, great for anniversaries. anniversaries, birthdays. Yeah, and I know this is one of Pamela's favorite signature restaurants. Love Monster Paul. It's it's right up there. Uh, for me, it's not as good as Yachtsman, but it's close. It really is. Yachtsman is just phenomenal. Honestly, I think the Yachtsman is better because the menu changes so often. The Yachtsman, yeah. the menu at Monster Paul's, I want to say, is the exact same menu that. It was when we went the first time. Yeah, I want to say though the um, menu at Yachtsman might be a little bit bigger too, a few more choices. Yeah, it might be. But they got the prefix menu and everything like that. So if you want yeah. to uh, just see what the, it's pretty much chef recommends this for the day and I just puts it together. The tasting menu I think would be kind of fun. Yeah, the the, the seven, seven course, course. Yeah. Probably similar to what you get. Well, not similar, but a kind of a this same sort of experiences Victorian Alberts yeah but on a smaller scale I think but yeah that's oh, oh what we didn't talk about my dessert oh yeah your dessert I forgot my, mine was too awesome I don't care about yours yeah mine was really good though <laughs> it was a uh, Malo I think is how you would pronounce it it started with an M but it was a, a hazelnut chocolate tort and so it was like a sponge cake and the inside was raspberry and kind of like a chocolate lava sauce so when you cut into it, kind of opened up and spilled out <laughs> hazelnut and raspberry, and then there was a little ice cream on the side, too. It was really good. Yeah. I would recommend it. Yeah, so. Um, Mushroom Paul. Definitely give it a try. Um, if It's not one of the ones you want to pay out of pocket, because I think our bill... 250 Yeah. It was it was pretty insane. I don't think I showed it at the end. We only had a one glass of wine. Yeah. And... Don't ask what the wine was. He chose it for us. Um, <laughs> mine was red. No, yours yeah. was red. Mine was red. Yours was white. Yeah. You had a Sauvignon Blanc, I think. Yeah, it, I it's had... been a week. It's been a week since we've been there. And... I had a Cabernet. <laughs> it was uh, good, though. Yeah. Every, everything was good there. And if you're going to a restaurant like that, don't be afraid to ask the server what they like. Yeah. It's, it's a rare occasion that we've gone to the restaurant, we ask, and the server's like, I really haven't tried much here yet. 
usually they know. And the first time we went, we were asking our waitress, um, Elise, I think her name was. And um, she even said that a lot of the food there, um, especially I think what I had the first time, it was uh, some kind of roast. or um, It was like a... It was similar to a steak, but... Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, but it, she said that was kind of like a traditional uh, French meal. Yeah. So, but she said it's really, it, it's pretty close. Especially the signatures take advantage of the servers because, well, not take advantage of them, <laughs> but utilize them as a good resource because the signature restaurants, they spend more time with the servers typically. They're going to know the menu better. Yeah. And with a place like Monster Paul or La Cilier, you're you're going to be dealing with a server who is from the country that they're supposed to be emulating. So mm -hmm. um, that was great for us, especially with the wine suggestion because it's all in, the whole wine menu was in French. That's why I didn't bother showing it. Um, and it's like four pages long with a little tiny pr print on it. And it's pricey. It's yeah. not cheap wine by any stretch of the yeah. imagination. I think the cheapest glass of wine was nine dollars. Yeah. But the dining plan for your one drink covers up to a $26 glass of wine, I think he said. he said. And yeah. there's only like three of those, and then there's a few that are like 900 some odd dollars mm -hmm. a glass or something. I don't the know. bottles were really, really expensive. <laughs> but the yeah. The next to us ordered like two different types of wine. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, and, and it's the kind of <laughs> restaurant where they bring it out and show you the bottle, and you look at it and go, hmm. And <laughs> he, he did bring out a um, sample for me to try of mine before I ordered it, and then, it was good. He's pr he probably just got whatever's closest to grape juice because he figured I didn't drink wine too often. He actually told <clears> me because I was asking him for a recommendation on a red, and he's like, "Oh, this one, I don't know, I'm French, so." <laughs> and I know it. He didn't mean for it to be snooty. Yeah. And it's just the French mentality because he knows that Americans aren't going to have the same palate as no, somebody from France. Because so. she was asking about one. It was a really really dry wine. Um, he's. He says it's going to have a stronger body to it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, bring it on, man. Yeah. I'm game. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even bother asking me about that. He just, yeah, here you go. <laughs> but it, it was good. I mean, it was a sweeter wine, but, and I've drank a lot of wines before, but, you know, not a whole lot of um, French wines, so I don't really know anything about wine. But uh, <laughs> we've been rambling on here for quite a while now, so yeah. um, give it a try. Deluxe dining plan. Um or if you're on the deluxe it's a good way to do it because it is a signature restaurant um two like i said two table credits per person that includes kids so i don't know if it's a restaurant you really want to take the kids to because even mm -hmm. the kids menu is more like steak and some other fancier stuff so oh and it is worth mentioning for the regular disney dining plan you can do this restaurant with two table service credits however there was an additional price for some of the for the prefix for, menus. Yeah, for some of the yeah, for the prefix I think it was an extra twenty seven dollars. Yeah, per and and it, for like the um the seven course there was a um, additional thirty dollars. It was fifty nine dollars for uh, regular dining plan and thirty dollars for deluxe. Yeah. So just something to keep in mind, and I did show that on the menu. So, um, but yeah, we'll quit talking your ear off and yeah, give it a try. It's worth it. It's good. Both times we've been, um, they've impressed us. Yep. So. That's going to do it for us for Monsieur Paul there in the French Pavilion at Epcot World Showcase. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again real soon.